making controversial comments about the COVID-19 pandemic. In an overtime win against the Thunder last night, Porter poured in 37 points and had 12 rebounds. He is the first Nuggets rookie since Carmelo Anthony to have at least 35 points and 10 rebounds in a game. So, Shannon, how high is Porter's ceiling? Very high. Skip, there's a reason why he was the number one recruit coming out of high school. A lot of people thought he was going to be the number one pick in the draft. Yep. Had it not been for that back injury, he might have been. And I think that was the only thing that really held him back. He landed in a great spot that Nuggets <clears throat> didn't have to reach. He kind of failed to the Nuggets. It would have been interesting to see if the Nuggets would have taken them had they been in the lottery. But because they were at the 15th, they could just sit there and he just landed in their lap. That's a good they point. had some other pieces around Skip. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to rush him. Nope. And he comes in. Skip, what makes him unique? He's six foot ten and he's a scorer. What makes Kevin Durant, what made Dirk Nowitzki unique? Their ability to score from the perimeter, because normally when we had guys that side, the Kevin Garnett's, the uh, Tim Duncan, they were back to the back uh, uh, players. They didn't have three point range. This kid got skipped. He was six and nine from the three. He was perfect from the free throw line. He can put the ball on the floor. He can get to the lane. He can get to the rim. He can shoot the ball from three. Mm -hmm. Skip, he's a, he has a very unique skill set, yep. a la Anthony Davis. Another guy that's six foot ten skip true. that can score the ball from the outside. Mm -hmm. In the old days, these guys were true forwards, power forwards, and true centers. Hakeem Olajuwon played with his back to the basket. Mm -hmm. These guys, Moses Malone, all those guys played with their back to the basket. This kid can flat out score the basketball, and you can understand why everybody was so high on him coming out. This what it would have been interesting to see if he could have entered the NBA straight from high school. He maybe would have been the number one overall pick. Yep. Definitely, probably, I believe he would have been the number one overall pick yep, had he not injured his back. Kind of like Joel Embiid. Mm -hmm. Had Joel Embiid not injured his back, Skip, it's hard to teach height. <laughs> either, you, either you have it or you don't, Skip. Mm -hmm. And this kid has it. 6'10", can shoot the three, can put the ball on the floor, get into the rim. Yeah, he has a very high ceiling. Mm. So I'm trying not to overreact to this, but my gut tells me that last night a star was born. Mm -hmm for the Denver Nuggets, a star who will change their franchise going forward. Everything you said, so true. You just, you have 6'10", and, and he's making 42% of his threes this year. <laughs> and I know he's been making them mostly in the shadows uh -huh. because he's only started three games. Right. And he was forced to start this one yesterday because there was no Jamal Murray, mm -mm. there was no Gary Harris, there was no Will Barton. Right. So, they needed him to step up and play. He's been in the doghouse, in and out of the doghouse all year for Mike Malone because he won't crash the boards right. the way Mike Malone believes he can. Especially at 16. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Mike Malone sees him as easily averaging double-digit mm -hmm. rebounds. Right. And so last night he had nine by halftime. And you look at, my God, when you make 12 or 16 shots, four or six, six as you three. point from three, and you, you come up with 12 rebounds. And, and he said after the game that he had to text his head coach three times to apologize for the previous game in which he had one rebound mm -hmm. because he's better than that. Yeah. So I can't attest yet because I haven't seen enough of him. He's played in, he, he's appeared in 50 games so far this year. Right. This is it. He's still like Zion. He's just getting his feet wet. Well, Skip, maybe, well, he's shown you flashes. He's okay. shown where he's get you 20 points a game. Now, it's going to be interesting to see when all these pieces come back, where does he fit in? Because Bowl Bowl, you know, Skip, they're big. No, you I go, got it. Jokic and Bowl Bowl and this kid. Okay, you know. but from what I saw yesterday, I, I think you don't have to fit him in. I think you have to fit the other pieces you around fit him. Around no, he's him. just because Jokic was a monster yesterday. But he is a monster. He he is a monster, and he made Stephen Adams look like he's about six three. He did. Seriously, yeah. he just he just toyed with him. The and whole that's game. the thing is, Skip, is that right now because they played him alongside Millsap, and so it, it, he was special, Skip. Oof. I mean, I, I I thought the kid had some talent. I mean, there because you didn't really get a chance to see it at Missouri. Because, I mean, as soon as he well, got there, Hurst is back. And yeah, he played in parts of three. He played in the opener, and then they tried him in the first game of the SEC tournament. Yeah. Didn't work. And right. then they tried him in the first NCAA right. tournament game, and it didn't work. Right. And that was it. That was it. Goodbye. So, so, you, so you, you, you know, I'm not following high school basketball like that. And you hear all this talk. Oh, this kid is unbelievable. He's 6'10", yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, okay. And then, you know, you're okay. I'm going to see him in college. Because you see, Zion, you hear about Zion. You're like, I can't wait to see what he do against, you know, college players. Every, you know, high school, he go into a private high school. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But 
This kid has some ability, Skip. At six okay. foot ten, can so score the basketball. I, I can't speak to killer will or mental toughness right. or winners intangibles. I don't know about those yet. Right. But when I hear Billy Donovan after this game, and he is not prone to uh, gush right. about anybody, and he went on and on about very, very talented, very, very gifted, great potential. Mm -hmm. He was in awe. Yeah. He just sat back because it was he had 20 and nine rebounds at halftime, and it's like. <laughs> we, we can't cope with that right. because there is some potential Anthony Davis there. Yeah. That's what it, that'd be the comparison. Skip, that's a unique skill set. When you get a guy this tall that can shoot the ball like this, Skip, that's what set Kevin Durant. That's what mm -hmm. set Dirk. It did. When Dirk came to the league, Skip, we had never seen a seven footer that could shoot the ball like that. Mm -hmm. And we may never see another seven footer that can shoot the ball. But Kevin Durant, well, Kevin Durant, he goes six eleven. It all depends. Yeah. Some days he's six eleven, some days. But Kevin Durant can shoot the ball with you know, got three a uh, uh, half court range ability. So not and KD can put the ball on the uh, now Dirk couldn't put the ball on the floor like KD. Mm. Dirk couldn't put the ball on the floor like this kid. Mm -mm. So this kid here is has more KD in his game. And AD because his ability to put the ball on the floor and get to the rim. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, I'm excuse me. Uh, last week we talked about this young man for all the wrong reasons. Right. So Mary made the comment right. on I think a Snapchat live. Right. About coronavirus is being used for population control. I, I didn't condemn him. You had some issues. Right. You just said you got to grow up and realize your responsibility right. mm -hmm. because. This isn't just you sitting in your parents' basement. Right. This, this is you represent the Denver Nuggets now. Correct. And he just turned 22, so you say, eh, you, you got to live and learn. You got to grow up. Right. Well, you better grow up pretty quickly because the spotlight is about to get bright on this young man. Yeah, Skip, they got, because uh, they, they, the Nuggets have aspirations of going further than the first round. Um, you know, they got knocked out last year by Portland, so they have they have hopes of getting all the way. And this kid is going to be a big part of that. He's going to have to play well. Uh, they got contributions all across the this. They got nothing from the bench, Skip. This was all, this was all their starter. They about to have, what, uh, 14. They got 14 points from the bench. You normally lose a game like that. But if you get 37 and 12 from one guy, a 30-point triple-double from a next, another guy, and two guys give you 17, mm -hmm. yeah, you can win it like that. I would agree. <laughs> so for me, all of a sudden, the Denver Nuggets, because of Michael Porter Jr., become must-see. Because yeah. now I'm on the edge of my seat. I saw little flashes back in January when he had a 20-point right. game. And, a, you know, you'd say, well, what do you have? He had 25 at Indy and 20 and 14 at Minnesota. Right. You say, okay, I see flashes. This was a big kaboom. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. And Skip, that's another guy that if they were to meet the uh, the Lakers, well, Anthony Davis is going to have to face him too mm -hmm. now because he can score. Normally, AD is facing guys that can't yep. score like unless he's playing Giannis. Skip, you know what I'm saying? Or, or one of these Paul Georges or somebody like that. Yep. Nor, but he's going to have to be on his best behavior too because this kid can put – you can't slump off because he got three-point range. Mm, does he? Yeah. Speaking of those Lakers, you know, LeBron had some <laughs> quotes last yeah. night what that I thought were pretty telling. Did he prove all the doubters wrong? We're going to discuss after the break. And Chris Broussard <laughs> will join us as well. Stay with us.